Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'm going to show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. It's going to be quick and easy, so let's get started. So you want to start off by switching to Cycles Render for better shading. And after that you want to delete the uh, default lamp, so right click and then click X to delete. Then select the cube, scale it down with S, open the settings. I'm going to add a modifier, an array modifier. So click array on the top. And then you want to increase the count to 10. And increase the um, offset on the x-axis to 1.1. GX to grab it on the x-axis. Add another modifier. And you want to make this modifier to 10 on the count, 0 on the x-axis, and 1.1 on the y-axis. And we're going to add another array and go down and increase the count to 10. Make the x axis to 0 on the offset and then 1.1, oops, 1.1 on the set axis. Okay, so now we have a thousand cubes and we're going to add physics to these. So we want to scale it down with S first. Now, you might think that even though we have a thousand cubes here, it's going to be a thousand different cubes. But if you go into edit mode, you can still see that it's just one object. So you have to change this and apply all the array modifiers. So click apply, apply, and apply. And now if you go into edit mode, you can see that they're all separate objects. Kind of. We have to click P and then separate by loose parts. To make them all separate objects so that you can actually make a simulation. It's going to take some time because it's going to make the computer work hard, but you can go back to object on that and you now have a thousand separate objects. Okay, so let's go into physics. Let's just go back to object mode first and click rigid body and make the weight to about a hundred and then make it into mesh collision type and then you want to go into physics and copy from active which means that you will add this rigid body to all of the uh, thousand objects or the thousand cubes that we have and that is also going to take some time depending on how good your computer is but now we have rigid body for all the cubes as you can see they're kind of like a green shade on them and we can start working on the animation so click R to rotate G to grab we're gonna grab it a little bit upwards and let's add a plane this is gonna be the floor for the animation click S to scale go into edit mode and I'm going to extrude it upwards to add walls like this, left click to confirm, then click X and delete faces to delete the roof of the cube. Okay, go to object mode and we're gonna add a rigid body. This is gonna be a passive rigid body. So switch from active to passive. And then you wanna switch um, from convex hole to uh, mesh. And if we click planar, it will start calculating the animation. But as you can see, the physics are still kind of messed up, so we have to change some settings. And the way to do that is to select all the cubes. And we're going to change where the origin of the meshes are, or the origins of the cubes. So click uh, B. First you want to go into wireframe mode, so click set. And then click B to select all of them. And then we want to click Control Alt Shift C to make the origin point go to the geometry. So when we go back to the simulation now, with the animation, we're going to see that um, it's going to work out differently. Okay, so let's see. It's going to take some time to calculate, but as you can see, the floor now has physics. Or the cubes now have the correct physics so that the cubes actually lay down on the floor or fall down on the floor like this 
And you can also always change the weight of the cubes if you want them to be like moving less after they fall down because they kind of like wobbly. Okay, so now I want to start adding all the colors and all the shading and the lighting for the scene. And I'm going to select all the um, cubes and add a material. So I'm going to go into set and select with B. I'm not even sure if we need to do this. I'm just going to add a material to these objects and make the cubes blue. And then I'm going to physics and copper. I, don't know, I actually think this is wrong. You don't really need to do this because you have already added the colors to all of the different objects because they have the same material from before but it doesn't really matter now and then you want to add a color to the floor which we're going to see after we added some lighting so I'm going to click G to grab then R to rotate and then S to scale this is going to be our first light and click G again to grab and I'm going to add a material. I'm going to add an emission material. Scale again. And make the strength to, let's say, 6. Then num at 7 to go to the top view. And we're going to add a 3 point lighting. So click Shift D to duplicate. R set to rotate. S to scale. And Shift uh, D again to duplicate. Then R set to rotate it on the Z axis. This is going to be the backlight. So three lights now. Now pad zero to go into the camera. And if you click the animation now, you will see that the cubes will fall down into the camera. Or into the camera view. But it's kind of too close now, so we have to move the camera a little bit. So I'm going to pause the animation. Right click to select the camera. And then click Shift, Shift F to go into the flight cam mode. Then you can move around with W. A, S, and D to find the position you want to have in the scene. I'm going to move kind of far away like this. Right, left click to confirm. And as you can see now, now I have it even more in the frame. And I think that looks better. I think I'm going to scale the scene. So click S and then Shift Set to only scale it on the Y and the X axis. And then I'm going to fly him again, Shift F to move even fur further away from the um, cubes so that we can see even more in the animation. I'm also going to make the floor, uh, the walls taller. So go into edge select, hold in shift to select many edges at the same time. And then you want to click uh, G, then set to grab the edges on the set axis. Go into object mode again. Number zero into the camera. Go into rendered mode. And I'm going to add one more material. And that is for the floor and the walls. And I'm also going to change the colors a little bit on the cubes. Most of all, add a color to the floor and the walls. So I'm going to make it kind of brownish. It's obviously really, really easy to change colors. I don't really need to talk about that. But I'm also going to add a background color to the scene. And you have to go into the world settings. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker because I like the shading that happens, the shades that comes up when you have a really dark world in Blender. Okay, so I'm going to go back and as you can see, I think we have a really good animation now that you can render. And just a few final adjustments for the camera. Now, obviously, this is a very heavy render to render as an animation. So you're probably going to spend at least one night with your computer on to render this scene. However, in this tutorial I'm only going to render one image, but I'm also going to show you how to render an animation so that you can actually make this into a video. So I'm going to increase the resolution quality to 100% first, increase the sampling to whatever value you want to have, but I'm not going to do this in this tutorial because it's going to take a long time to render. 
Now, so let's see through the animation really quick to see if it works. And I think it looks really, really good. So I'm going to go into the settings for the animation itself. So the frame rate you want to set to 30 or 60. And this is the folder where you're going to save the uh, finished uh, MP4 file. So just choose the place you want to save the file. And then you just want to click animation and then convert all those PNGs into an MP4 file. I have a tutorial about that so you can watch that on my channel. But for now I'm just going to render one image and you can see how it looks. I think it looks good. The finished file is in the link below. I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribe.